All right, y'all. I'm out looking for a large pickerel in this canal. Been doing it all season, trying to find something larger. It hasn't happened. I've caught a couple medium-sized ones. The only jumbo pickerel I've caught this year was in maybe two of them actually in a pond, maybe two or three. Um, yeah, I'd like to catch a big one today. And uh, oh, there he is! There he is! That's what I was looking for. Wow. Okay. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Ooh, he's aggressive. Good size. All right. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to skirt him up. He is kind of big. I really, really don't want to lose him. But uh, he's aggressive and bending my rod a lot. Stay on. All right. Well, that was what I was looking for, guys. That's a big pickerel. That's a big pickerel. This thing is fat. Look at him. Holy cow. Big fish. Big, big fish. Oh, he was definitely not coming off. All right, bud. I'm gonna have to hold you pretty tight. Big fish. It's a big, big pickerel. All right, bud. Really nice catch. Second cast, maybe? Wow, man. What a fish. What a fish. That's what I'm looking for. If that's all I get all day, I am ecstatic. Wow, man. That was awesome. All right. And not only that, but I've still got a bait here. That was killer. I'm not even staying in this spot. I'm just totally thrilled. Wow. Did not expect that. Just stopped and talked to a guy that I come to know on the trail here. Really nice. I just can't even top that first fish. That was so awesome. Not really seeing a whole lot up here. Usually it's really good up here. I'll try to see if anything's hiding in this little tree spot over here. So far, not so much. We'll work this little section here and work back to where we caught that pickerel. And then work up the canal a little bit. I might even go as far as uh, up to the dam if we have time. That was awesome. I'm still just reeling on that. Awesome pickerel. It was a great fish. See, there's no weeds now. Everything's kind of moved on. So 
I feel like it's structure time for sure. Bank and structure. Might be something in here. Let's see. A lot of current though. It's not like the river where you want that current and you want it to harder to find the fish in the current in this canal. At least this time of year. There is a little patch of grass through here. And I want to try and see if I can get up to the bank a little more. Closer, I can get a little better cast. There it is. That was almost a snag. Too much current for him over there. Probably here too. Gotta re-oil these this reel. Still casting alright. I've got a 10 pound test. I think that's another thing that um you know, I fished a lot of the season with six pound and so everything felt huge and it was you had to have a lot more finesse about landing stuff and we had a couple break offs so I feel like that was a good challenge for the beginning of the season but now um, you know with this 10 pound test on I feel a little more confident about my chances of catching something more like what I just caught and bigger feel like I can make it happen. All right, so this looks like a great spot. It is a lot of current, but there is like this little pool here and there's still a lot of this vegetation here. So we're gonna fish this for a minute and see if something's hiding down in the grass. Yep, there we go. Got him. All right, pickerel number two. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. He needs to calm down, though. You need to calm down, dude. All right. Tore you up a little bit. Sorry about that. Let's get that off of you. Oh, wow, man. And he's clamping down on this bait. That's hilarious. Right. And he is eating up a little bit, so I'm going to get him back. He's really aggressive and angry. Let's see about it. This little guy tore this thing just 